In this section, we'll learn how to create plan and profile sheets with rectangular boundaries and with different length uh, sheets when necessary. So we'll start out with the same process that we've been using. We're in the plan view area. We'll run our plan name boundary tool, select the plan mode. We'll select the drawing seed we want, select the alignment that we want to follow and we'll start identifying the beginning and ending stations of these. Now this is where we're going to make our first adjustments. First of all, I want to adjust these sheets to being rectangular instead of following the curvature of the alignment. And I do that by changing my boundary cords to a value of zero. So once I do that, I've now got rectangular sheets. Now the next thing I need to, to look at with these sheets is when I do have rectangular sheets, Notice that I've got overlap and gap areas on them. To take care of that, I need to slide the sheet border back a little bit and produce some overlap between them so I ensure that there's no gap. We'll do that by applying 100 feet overlap on these. So now we have 100 feet of overlap on those sheets and it correctly overlaps those sheet areas. Now, before I go ahead and create these sheets, I got one additional challenge with this project that I want to deal with. I don't particularly like the way this intersection is falling relative to the location of the sheet. I would like to put a short sheet in that ends right here for the first sheet in my project, and then the second sheet can cover that alignment and continue on out from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the length of this sheet down to something more like maybe 750 feet. And I like the way that lays out a little bit better. So maybe we'll even take those first two sheets and make them 750 feet. And I'll accept that. I'm not going to go up and keep accepting these other sheets up here, though, because I really don't want them going that far. I want to go back to full-length sheets as soon as I can. I've just done short sheets while I get around this little intersection area. So I'll go ahead and accept that and place those sheets in there. I'll cancel that because I don't want to create my drawings yet. So now we'll select the name boundary command again to place this rest of our sheets on here. We will leave it in the plan mode. We'll go select the alignment that we're following. Let's turn our stationing on and off so we can now define our start station. Now the way we're going to get our start station is we're going to zoom into here. and I'm going to use my intersection snap to snap to this point right at the center line where the end of our, our last sheet ends. So that'll start creating my new sheets out here. Now there's one other little adjustment that I need to make. If you notice the overlap of the sheets not being calculated quite right, uh, the software is seeing this as the first sheet in a set right now. It really should be seeing it as an addition to these others. Uh, because of that, it's only applying half because it thinks it's the first sheet in a set, it's only applying half of the overlap distance instead of 100% of it. I'm going to compensate for that right now by just adjusting my start station by 50 feet. So I'll subtract 50 feet from that, which is half of my overlap distance. Um, that is a known little bug that we've got in here. We're working on that, and we'll have it resolved in a future build of software. But in the meantime, you can certainly work around it by just a small minor edit to your numbers. All right, we'll go ahead and accept the rest of those sheets and create those. And again, I'm going to cancel out of creating the drawing. I don't want to do that yet. So we've laid out four sheets now, two short ones, two longer sheets along our alignment. Let's turn on our profile and create the profile portion of the sheets, just like we've done before. Put it in profile mode. I will select the seed file that I'm going to use, the geometry that I'm going to follow, we're going to create these from our plan group named London Road. That's this set we just built out there. And let's drop down our exaggeration so we can see that well. And you can see that the profiles have automatically been matched up to the proper sizes of the sheets. The first two being short sheets, the second two being the full length sheets that we would expect fit onto our drawings. We can go ahead and create those. Because I had the create drawing option toggled on already, it threw me straight into the Create Drawing dialog. 
I could add those to my sheet index and say OK and let it go ahead and build these plan and profile sheets. The result that we're going to see are plan and profile sheets where the plan portion is now laid out in a rectangular window instead of being laid out in a, uh, a window that paralleled the roadway like we may have had before. Because there's some overlap in the plan view, the profiles are cut back a little bit so that they're not overlapping. So we can see all of the data that's been laid out into here. Now those first couple sheets where we had the shorter sheets, do remember that all of these are just reference files. So if you wanted to take this sheet and grab a hold of these elements and say, well, I want to move them to the center of the sheet, or maybe I want to move them over to the right-hand side of the sheet, that can all be adjusted very quickly and easily to meet whatever needs that you have. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.